Hello, Oscillator Sync here. This is just a quick little video to show you how to get the patches from my patch packs onto your Behringer DeepMind synth. Now I've developed my own solution for doing this because the default way of sharing patches for the DeepMind is by using sysx files, which is kind of the way that it's done on a lot of synths. One of the downsides with the way that it works on the DeepMind is that the bank and program numbers are hard coded into the patches by default which means that whenever you send one of the patches to your DeepMind synth, it will always go to the same slot and it will overwrite whatever was there before. That's kind of suboptimal as far as I'm concerned. So I've put together my own solution so that you can choose which patches you want and where they're going to go. And it also allows you to back up the patches um, that are already in those slots so that you don't lose them. So this all works through the browser and to get to this page um, there'll be a link in the description to this video. When you get to the page it'll look something like this. Uh, at the top here we've just got a couple of caveats. Now um, the first one is, is important. This system will work far better if you are using a browser which supports web MIDI. At the time of making this video that's Chrome or Opera but hopefully other browsers are going to follow suit soon. What I will say is if you can't use one of these web MIDI enabled browsers you can still make use of the page. It's just that you will have to use a sysx librarian piece of software to send the patches to the synth yourself. But you can do all of the configuration of which patches and, and where you're gonna put them uh, regardless. So if you are using a browser which supports web MIDI and you have your synth connected up to your computer, uh, preferably by USB, but it also works over MIDI, this page can actually send the patches direct to your synth. You don't have to do anything with any other software. You can do it entirely within the browser. To make full use of the features available here, you need to have both an input and an output connection to your synth. Now, if you plug in by USB, that's all automatic. If you're plugging in by MIDI, that means that you need to connect both the MIDI in and the MIDI out to the synth. One last really important thing, in order to make this work, you need to make sure that your synth is set to device ID one. That's how it comes from the factory anyway, but you can check this by going into the global menu. It's on the first page. You'll see it up at the top, it'll say device ID. Make sure that's set to one. If it's not, then you won't be able to send the patches to your synth. Okay, so uh, step one here is pick the patches that you want. Now, hopefully you've listened to the patches in the patch pack and you think they're all wonderful, in which case you can hit select all and that selects all of the patches that you want. If you found some that you didn't really like, say you weren't such a, a big fan of Subterra Lake or Scoop Lead, you can take those out of the patch pack. So you can set up the patch pack to contain only the patches that you want. So the next step here is to decide where you want to put the patches. Uh, so uh, say you wanted to pop them into bank H and you wanted the first patch to be patch four, uh, you can set that up here. So the next thing here is to set up the MIDI device. So I've got my DeepMind set, uh, plugged in by USB so it turns up as DeepMind six here. Once you've set this up, you can hit the test connection button and it will check that it can actually talk to the synth. There we go, connection confirmed. If I'd had it set on my Focusrite Scarlet, we'd get a connection failed here. So make sure that's set to the right interface. Right, so this next step is really, really important and I wanna draw attention to it. When you send these patches to your synth, whether it's using this interface here or whether it's by downloading the sysx files and uh, sending them using a, a sysx librarian piece of software, it will overwrite the patches that are currently in those slots that we've defined up here. There is no way to get these patches back unless you have already made a backup. So I highly recommend that you back up your patches. If you're connected by USB or MIDI, you can do that directly from here. If not, you'll have to do it uh, on the synth itself. So uh, I wanna be safe, so I'm gonna click back up my patches. And in a second, we'll get a download of the patches that were in those slots. Uh, it will be named telling you what slots they were from as, as well. Okay, once you've done all of that, you're ready to send your patch pack to your synth. Uh, if you are running in a browser where you don't have MIDI, um, you can just download your patch pack and then send it using a sysx librarian. So you can click that and it just gives you a warning here, just reminding you that you will be overwriting the programs that are in these slots here. Click OK and you'll get a download. There we go. But ideally you want to send them straight to your synth, uh, in which case you can hit send a patch pack. If you're sending a bunch of patches, your deep mind will say that it's receiving MIDI for a couple of seconds, which mine is doing now and it's done and those patches will be in that bank and on those programs. Really straightforward. 
um, but with a couple of safety measures in here so that you can make sure that everything is working properly. So anyway guys, I hope that's useful and I hope that you enjoy the patches. If you have any questions about this, um, then drop them in the comments. If you have any suggestions for this, also drop them in the comments. Now obviously I'm going to be using the system to release my patch packs, but my plan is to expand it into a general patch management system for the DeepMind. So if you have any feature requests, then uh, again, uh, drop them in the comments and I'll see what I can do. The last thing I will say is that this system is open source. You can check it out on my GitHub page. Uh, actually, it's on the Synthomata GitHub page, um, github.com. And if you search for Synthomata, you'll find it. Uh, so if you are someone who is making patches and wants to be able to distribute them a little bit more easily, um, that's all there. If you want some help integrating this with your site, then also you can drop me a line and I can see what I can do uh, to support you there. Okay, guys, that's everything. I hope you enjoy the patches. I hope you enjoy using the interface. And I hope I will see you again soon on the channel. Bye-bye.